What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video today. I wanted to be talking about how to gain XP fast in the game and no, before the comment section is gonna go crazy. Um, it's not through portal XP farming. Uh, this is actual legitimate way that's just an all out warfare. You can do it both on conquest and, and breakthrough. I figured it was more effective on breakthrough, uh, but sometimes the games on breakthrough don't last as long as the ones on conquest. Um, so yeah, it's to maximize XP farm. As you can see on screen, hold up, I gotta open the tab as well. Uh, as you can see on screen, this is the end of a scoreboard. I will be showing the game uh, from this score um, as well uh, on screen after this. Um, but as you can see, um, I got tw almost 25k points in this uh, game. And gaining XP uh, through the way I found, it's quite easy. It's achievable for pretty much everyone. Of course, you're gonna be more effective once you get better at the game, uh, but this is pretty achievable uh, at the start of the game. 25k points, um, you need a long game for that as well, but you can easily get 15k plus points uh, every game doing this. Um, so what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be trying to finish these uh, ribbon challenges. Uh, these ribbon challenges will give you a ton of extra XP above the XP you already gained from getting kills, um, capture objectives, stuff like that. Um, now, I figured the fastest way to complete these ribbon challenges um, is to, this is what I do every game. So there's like a little bit of a, a cycle you can do every game. Um, if you don't like it, you can also just, of course, focus on the game. There's uh, different ways of doing these challenges, but I figured this one was pretty effective. Um, so, First, I want to kind of explain how these challenges work. These challenges you get in the game. They reset every single game over and over. Um, there, t there's with each challenge, there's three tiers. So um, let me give you a quick example. There's the combat ribbon, uh, which tells you to perform kills or destroy vehicles. You can do either one. Uh, now for kills, uh, the tier one, it will give you a thousand XP. Uh, it's five kills. Most people will complete that challenge in a game. Then if you want to get the next tier, which is uh, 500 additional points above that, you need to get 15 kills in a game. Um, if you're going to get the tier 3, which is the last one, um, you're going to need 35 kills in a game. And then you're going to get uh, 2,000 kill or 2,000 points in total for completing that challenge. This is what every ribbon challenge in the game. So you're going to get... 1,000 with completing the first one, uh, uh, 1,500 in total if you complete the th uh, second one, and then uh, 2,000 if you complete uh, the third one, and then you're maxed out. They don't add on to each other, uh, so you get 2,000 points in total if you complete all three. Um, I always guarantee, or I always um, advise to at least finish the first one, because uh, with each challenge, they're pretty easy to do. Um, of course, the further you get in the tier, the harder they're gonna get to unlock. Um, but yeah, so I found a little sequence which requires certain specialists to use uh, that will make, uh, make it so these challenges are pretty easy to finish. So first what you want to do is you join in as Casper. Casper has a little spotting drone um, which you can complete the um, uh, assist with because once a player is spotted um, and a teammate finishes them off, you get assist points for that. And you, uh, of course, complete the spotting ribbon. So there's five ribbons, and you're gonna focus on two of them right now. So you spawn in. Uh, once you get about 10 spots, I think you get the first ribbon challenge done. And I don't, I'm not sure how many assists you need, probably five, I think. This is just a random guess. You're gonna complete the first one. Now you can choose to continue and go for the higher tiers. This will take longer. Or you can focus on the next one. Now, sometimes I just stay in the spotting, uh, spotting drone and keep spotting, try to finish the challenge. Um, or I just go to the next one, which is Angel. Angel, um, uh, so once you die, you switch to Specialist. Angel will be able to uh, supply enemies or su supply ammo, um, which is good for the logistic ribbon. Uh, which uh, is about healing, repairing, or resupplying. You can also go for the he uh, the heal one and uh, give out heals, but uh, I figured that people are more in need of ammo. You can quickly resupply ammo than healing players. So what you do is uh, you switch to Angel, 
and then you're going to focus on uh, resupplying your teammates. While doing this, you can also get kills and capture or defend, uh, but uh, you want to be focused on resupplying your teammates with ammo. After that, you only have to capture one left and to perform kills. Now, perform kills is it's quite obvious. Uh, with capturing, you can either capture an objective, you instantly get the challenge done if you capture an objective, or you have to defend slash hold an objective. Holding is literally staying on the objective um, for a while. You literally get points for that. I think every 10 seconds you get about 15 points. Um, and once you do that about five times, four times maybe, I'm not sure, uh, you get this one done. Uh, so you literally have to stay on an objective that's already yours or you capture an objective that is not yours. Um, so you pretty much have four of these ribbon challenges done. Then you need to focus on kills, which you can pretty much do on the way of resupplying your teammates or capturing flags, if that makes any sense. Um, hopefully the examples I'm showing right now on screen will make what I'm saying a little bit more clear. There's also another ribbon challenge that is not showing right now and it's squad ribbon challenges. Uh, so this is helping your squad resupplying, reviving. I haven't completely figured out how this works, uh, but if you help your squad enough with resupplying or reviving them, you eventually get these challenges done as well. Uh, of course, next to this you want to just focus on capturing objectives, getting kills, um, do what the game what is supposed to be. Um, these will, of course, add on your, to your XP, but, but trying to complete these ribbon challenges will really maximize your XP gain uh, in a game. Um, trying to complete tier 1 is very easy. You get a quick 1000 points. Uh, keep in mind that if you want to go for tier 2 or tier 3, this will take a lot more time to do. For spotting, you need a ton of spots to complete the, complete the tier 3 one. Um, same for resupplying your teammates. It takes a long time to complete uh, the tier 3 ones and get the total uh, 2000 points. But going for these first 1000 points is very uh, easy to do. So what I always suggest is keep this in, in the back of your mind. You can also check your progress, um, how you're doing on these ribbon challenges in the scoreboard. So if you uh, pull out the scoreboard on PlayStation, it's with the options button. If you hold it, you pull out the scoreboard. On the right side corner at the bottom, um, you can see uh, how much of a progression you're making on these rebound challenges. So, so far, this has for me been the easiest way to gain XP, um, still be effective in the game, still get a bunch of kills, uh, but keeping these challenges in the back of my mind really uh, notice that you're really going to gain an extra amount of XP. So I hope this video helped out. If you have any questions, uh, let them know in the comments. I'm, uh, I read the comments section pretty much the first day after uploading a video. Um, so feel free if you have any questions. Um, thank you guys for watching. If it was helpful, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet uh, and hit the like button. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Quick reminder, I have two uh, other channels besides this channel where I upload more powerful content. So in case you want to see more content, be sure to check out those channels. I got a shorts channel where which I upload highlights, funny moments. Uh, all in short clips and then I have a gameplay channel where I upload full raw unedited gameplay uh, So if you want to see more content be sure to check out my other channels as well